that's recording. I, 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 drop me roll up a partition. I'm definitely having a child. City. Bow, 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 bow. We not bringing that negative shit to the new shit. Just post. And also, being a black woman in this space, you tend to get overlooked by brands. Omit anything that is not serving you. I like Atlanta, but, and I want something new. Everything is gonna start to align. She's cute. She's cute. She's cute. Developing non negotiable. You're never really sad for real. What are we doing? Life in itself is just an inspiration. I am in love right now. Hey y'all, what is poppin'? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kara. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we are doing a Q&A today. I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to y'all in so long, so I felt like it was only right for y'all to ask me questions. And if you also wanna participate in the next one, girl, all you need to do is go follow me on Instagram and you can ask me whatever, cause I'm an open book, okay? But anyways, let's just hop right into this video. Before we hop into this video, I want to shout out Amicole for sponsoring this video. Y'all, I've been enjoying their lip kits and they are tea. I have it on my lips right now. Amicole is a clean beauty brand and also embraces melanin rich skin. So they just came out with their soft shape lip liner. Amicole soft shape lip liner has a creamy consistency and it helps glide. It's controlled on the application because I hate when lip liners just get all all over the place and it gets a little bit messy the ingredients are marula oil shea butter vitamin e and i love medium 001 because it gives me that nice effortless everyday lip for when i want to go for that lip that looks more like my skin tone but i love to accentuate my lips with the deep 001 lip kit especially with the cafe tuba lip liner because i love going in with a dark lip liner especially when i'm doing my lip combo and it's paired beautifully with the lip oil treatment shade excellence my lips look gorgeous okay and you'll be able to get your own ami cole lip kits all you need to do is click the link down below girl and also i do have a discount code for y'all you'll be able to use called kyra 20 to get 20 percent off on your order on the website so make sure you have your lip combo for the summer and they have so many lip combos for every occasion so get into it but let's hop right into this video is this thing on hey y'all what is poppin welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is kara and do not forget to like comment and subscribe it's been a minute since i sat down and really talked to y'all so i was like let me get ready and chat with the girl i asked y'all to ask me questions on instagram oh dang this is a good ceiling let's go so I'm about to start on my brow. I've been loving the Refi Medium Brown Brow Tint. And also, I do get my eyebrows laminated and also tinted. I get so many questions on how long it lasts. It lasts me about a good week and a half. But you really got to be good when it comes to washing your eyebrows. You just got to wash around them to make them last longer. Let's get started on these questions y'all have asked me. So the question is, how did I get to where I'm at right now trying to balance everything out as a whole? And the honest answer, I don't balance everything out. I don't really have like a set plan on how I balance everything. I just do it as it comes. Go with the vibes. Go with the everyday basis on what's on the schedule. I make time for what I I want to you either gonna do it or you're not i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do this i'm dedicated to it there's no plan b there's always plan a so that's what i think about on my mind on an everyday basis this is what it is and this is what we're gonna stick to what advice would i give to somebody that's new at editing look at some other vlogs that you would want your own content to look like and then go ahead and sit down and research what to do as far as making your content look how you want it to how aesthetically pleasing you want it to be it's really all about just splitting clips and putting them where you want to because that's the best thing about content creation to me you can place clips where you want to and also you can film whenever you want to you can act like it's the same day but it's really not you know what i'm saying so it's really all about splitting clips when it comes to editing that's probably the first thing that you need to learn and also when it comes to editing too once you do it enough it's gonna become second nature and you're gonna be like dang this is actually easy after all don't think too much into it just do it because practice makes perfect i'm trying to figure out if i want to wear foundation or foundation stick i kind of want to 
keep the beat very light but y'all i really been loving this laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation this is so good oh, i love my fancy i'm gonna go in with these charlotte tilbury beautiful skin island glow easy tanning drops she just sent these to me so i'm gonna try these out today oh i want to try out this hack wow this looks like liquid gold did y'all just see that that is crazy so what I'm about to do now is take this Aquaphor stick and put it underneath my eyes, y'all. I've seen this hack on TikTok. I'm like, I have one of those. We're gonna see what it's giving. So the next question is, how did I know when it was time to move out of my hometown? I just knew. I already knew that I did what I needed to do. I dedicated my weekends to filming content, taking pictures for Instagram. It was very repetitive and I really didn't go out like that. I wasn't having too much fun. All I would do is go to work and focus on content. And after I got my BBL surgery, I was like, okay, it's time to expand my brand because also at the time, that's when I noticed that content creation was becoming my full-time job. And there's only so much that I can get into in Wisconsin. There wasn't any brand events. And also Wisconsin is very small. There's nothing to do there and it's very slow. <sighs> It was just nothing happening for me. And you just know, you just have like a feeling inside. I did what I had to do and now it's time to move on. This is like my skin corrector and this is the, I'm not even sure what the name is, but I use the number two in the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. And I love this, it gives me a flawless finish effortless everyday vibes i need to go pick up her new foundation she just dropped i need to go grab that immediately keep asking how my mom is she's doing amazing y'all she's back driving her one of her vocal cords got paralyzed so it's hard for her to talk i don't know if y'all noticed in my last videos when i was recording her but yeah her voice just isn't the same still here she's still breathing she's still living life and hopefully in the long run her voice will return god is gonna do a miracle on her but he did a miracle on her by keeping her here with me and guiding me through this what we call life but she's doing amazing yeah i love her so much and thank you for asking so somebody asked me why am i not being considerate when i record my tiktoks because i record in 0.5 in the air like this i'm literally recording myself you can dodge the camera clearly you see that i'm recording so why are you looking directly in my camera girls have recognized me in the airport it has worked to my benefit especially when skipping some lines but i just like creating content it's chaotic it's fun it's fresh and i do consider the other people around me i don't i'm not directly in their face i'm the camera is really focused on me they just so happen to be in the background what motivates you when things aren't going as planned honestly in life things just don't go the, as you plan them to and, and i feel like things just happen for a reason it's a reason why things don't work out those days where i'm like dang why why didn't this happen you know it didn't happen for a reason there whoa 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 <laughs> Okay, this might be a little too dark for me. This is the No Limits Strength in the LYS um, Contour Stick. I picked this up during the Sephora Savings event. And I wanted to try, I think it'll, it'll come together once I blend it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let's take a month. Pause. Uh-uh. No, what's happening? I mean, I feel like I can fix, I feel like I can fix it, but it's looking a little bit too muddy on me i had to restart i think that contour stick is a little bit too muddy for me because i really love something a little bit more warmer just a girl like my number one question that i always get asked these days is where do i get my music from where do i get my music from and honestly y'all i've told y'all this many times before i always get my songs from soundcloud it's a very tedious tasks to do and it can take hours so i do appreciate that y'all take the time out to be like oh my god the song that you're using is so good with the vibes that you're going for i was scrolling on youtube the other day and i actually came across this youtube channel there's so many youtube channels with copy copyright free music and i came across this one they have really good songs so far i think they just may have started i don't know but it's called the playlist joint y'all the songs on those videos 10 out of 10 and i've came across a few of the songs that i already used in their videos so i think they're gonna have the vibes that i need <laughs> so i'm definitely going to be saving that 
um, for when I can't find any songs on SoundCloud. But I find all my songs on SoundCloud, YouTube, and it's so crazy that y'all caught me. You got me. I'm definitely having a child. She's on the way. I'm on DoorDash. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? I am at the age where it's like, okay, if I accidentally did get pregnant, I made my choice, you know, to lay up and get pregnant. Go take on my responsibility to have a child. But it's so crazy. I come across <laughs> these TikToks. Like, you're at the age <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh it's like congratulations you're pregnant but then in the back of your mind it's like i'm pregnant you're 16 or something I, like it's the worst thing in the world oh, i'm never against having children and expanding my family especially with my husband y'all of course i want to have mommy as child if i'm obsessed with him i'm not against having kids i am gonna be ready maybe in a few years who knows but yeah of course i want to expand my family and have some kids you know you know the vibes and expand the brand of course of Kyra, i mean me and her kids yeah i'm not against having children and i'm not expected right now i don't know where y'all getting this from the only babies i'm having are food babies if i wasn't a content creator what would i be doing i would probably be doing something in the medical field just because i love to help people and also i was good at math and science so i would have went to school for nursing i can probably be in the esthetician space because i really do love beauty facials and all that like a medical spa or i was gonna go to school for pharmacy it's so crazy i always tell people this i was supposed to go to hbcu i was supposed to go to howard or maybe texas southern to get my pharmaceutical degree and become a pharmacist but it didn't work out that way because the t it was a whole span okay because i was supposed to come up become a pharmacy tech first girl i failed pharma pharmacy math like yeah now mm -mm. let's look i got a plan b now plan b is plan a doing something in like the beauty field but a mix with the medical or maybe a traveling nurse wouldn't sound too bad either how did i find my people it was definitely something that i had to go through a lot of trials and tribulations with because you just never know it's for you and who's not but that's why you gotta pray and ask god to reveal the people who are supposed to be there and who aren't i have social anxiety that's what i should say because i'm so scared i don't know why i get so nervous around new people and newness i love newness but it gives me anxiety to the t it's always those first impressions you never know what somebody is gonna think of you is the conversation gonna give what are we gonna talk about are we gonna keep it superficial i'm gonna overshare as well throughout the years i've learned just to be quiet but of course we want to be relatable and share our lives to these new people but sometimes it's just okay for you to be a little bit secretive and let them gradually show themselves and their personality. You can confine in them and be vulnerable to be able to trust them. I've came across so many amazing people, especially the beginning of this year. On the Top Ghost trip, I'm still cool with the people that I met on that trip. They were all amazing. They're just awesome people. All these people live in all these different areas, so I just can't wait to visit them, catch up, woo woo woo. I just feel like you just gotta put yourself out there. God will allow you to cross paths with who's supposed to be there and who isn't. The face is coming together. What has this year taught me? And I will have to say, obviously, I just turned at 30 this year. Hello. See, turning 30 isn't as scary as you probably may think it. You just really know yourself. And I always told myself that, Tyra, you're only going to get better. Turning 30 just, you know, it's like a cherry on top. And we have so many seasons to go. Y'all got to think about it. Oprah didn't get famous to like 30-something. Carrie Bradshaw was in Sex in the City at 31, 32, something like that. Kim Kardashian, she didn't get famous to like 30 something. It's just a number. People have asked me, how do I feel about being 30? I'm being unapologetic about things. If I don't wanna do something, I'm not doing it, period. If I'm not in the best state of mind, I need to set back and reset, and that's just on me. I'm gonna do what's best for myself, and for me, I'm setting boundaries. I know myself, and this is what it's gonna be for my mental health. And another thing that I learned in my 30s is that it's okay to have conflict. Growing up, we looked at conflict as something negative and I'm a Pisces as well. So I don't really like confrontation, but sometimes you need a little bit of conflict to get to the resolution. I've learned that it's not okay to suppress my feelings. If I wanna express myself in a non-defensive way or a facetious way, 
I know how to do that now. I just go ahead and politely express my feelings without having any spitefulness behind it. So we can have these healthy relationships with these people. And sometimes the conversation can get a little bit uncomfortable. That's when you put your big girl panties on and have those uncomfortable conversations that I just want to make sure my voice is heard and I'm seen. And another thing to know, a lot of y'all were asking me about breaking up with friends or breaking up in relationships. I've learned that if I am not getting what I'm giving, it's a dead situation. Because you gotta sit back and think about what are you benefiting from this relationship. If there's no reciprocity happening, then what are we here for? And in the past, I would give, 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 and I had to sit back and realize and analyze the whole relationship in a whole, friendships, boyfriends, family, any of that. Relationships are not a one-way street. And just like Lauren Hill say in X Factor, baby, let me get some red, sprocity. <laughs> baby, if it's not happening, no, 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 no. Gotta go. Has taught me that 30 is not scary. 30 is that girl, period. So if you're below 30, girl, it's just gonna get better, period. Bow, 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 bow! How do I deal with past trauma and not bring it to my new experiences? And I feel like past trauma happened for a reason and it's in the past, I'm past it. And there's no reason I should be taking it out on whoever's entering my life to have a beautiful future with, you know? I don't wanna take out something that happened to me in the past out on somebody else so this relationship can blossom into something beautiful. So I don't want to take that out. And why put poison on a flower? We not bringing that negative sheet to the new sheet. And that's my Ricks blushes are my favorite, y'all. Cause I want like a subtle blush. I don't want it to be too pinky. That's real Yeah. I remember when I met Danessa Myricks for the first time. She was telling everybody about her story and I just thought it was so beautiful. She basically started makeup. She made basically her own makeup out of colored pencils and started using it on people and that's what made her start her makeup brand. I just love hearing people's stories and where they started. You know I look crazy right now? It's gonna come together. Y'all keep asking me what are some of my favorite perfumes at the moment kylie cosmetic cosmic she's that girl she definitely grew on me at first it was giving sweet pea mixed with the um perfumes and marley um delina and i was like mm, this is not for me it started to grow on me and it smells so pretty it's so feminine so i just mix these two together this is the kylie cosmic perfume and then this is the perfumes and marley I'm not sure of the name. I'll have it on the screen or something. And I always get so many compliments. I love a little must. So I love to mix the Hermes H24 in there as well. Just to give me that oud undertone. The advice I would give my younger self when first starting YouTube is I would just tell myself, just post. Don't look at the numbers. Just keep posting. Because you just never know what video is going to skyrocket you to the next level. And also just trust the process. Be down for the journey. Don't try to have an overnight success. You may see that with other people. I started my YouTube channel around the time when a lot of people was just, you know, being successful overnight. And I'm like, damn, how do I get there? Longevity is the goal. So you don't want people to forget about you overnight as quickly as, you know, you came up. So this is something that you wanna grow with and make sure you have a great community that is gonna keep supporting you and your brand throughout the years. Just keep posting, relax, and you got this. To maintain my mental health is, I like to have a slow morning. I love to have a slow morning, make some tea. Just take it slow before the day starts getting chaotic. Taking walks, getting some fresh air, getting outside, touching some grass, getting off my phone. I have these moments where at the end of the night, I'm off my phone and I call it clock out time. Well, clock out time is you're off your phone, and you're being attentive to what's in front of you. You're being present. So I just love to get off my phone and just enjoy the moment. Just bask in the moment. And I just love taking things slow. What's the rush? Like, really, what is the rush? I know we don't got that many hours in a day anymore because time is just going, you know? I would see these posts on TikTok and it's like, no wonder my granny got up early and sipped her tea by herself alone. And I'm like, yes, yes. 
the slow mornings are it. What advice would I give somebody that's trying to glow up their life, take it to the next level? I would say omit anything that is not serving you. It's just gonna be a distraction. Exit out, throw it away, trash it immediately. If it's not serving you, what? why are you wasting time on it? Just take a step back and analyze everything that's in your life right now. Friends, family, clothes, food, material things. And if it's not, trash it, omit it. It's gone, poo, just like this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got this. God will literally bring you what is supposed to be there. Have faith in him and girl, you gonna get through and watch everything just transform and transpire. Next question is, where do I see myself in five years? Um, That's actually a really tough question because I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna be. I didn't even know this year was gonna be how it was. It started off so good. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that was in the cards for me. So I really don't know what God has in store for me. So it's really hard for me to answer those questions. Of course I wanna be successful. Of course I wanna be, you know, elevated, next level, house, kids, car. You know, all that. Husband, Mary, you never know. But you just never know what's really gonna be in the cards for you. I just ask God to keep giving me the strength to keep pushing and keep going and keep thriving and pointing me to the direction that I need to to get where I need to be. That's all I can ask for, that's what I'm praying for and that's all I can say because I don't have a plan on what's gonna happen. I just know that me and God have an agreement and he is gonna get me there. So next I'm gonna do my eyes, y'all. This Patrick Ta palette has been my go-to. Powder eyeshadows, but it also has two creams, a black and a brown. So I like to use the brown as like a liner. Do I wanna go full throttle? Do I wanna go full glam and put on some lily lashes? Or do I just wanna do my subtle everyday laminitic lashes? So y'all been asking about my favorite body care product. I'll hold you, Josie Moran. And Fancy got it on lock when it comes to body butters and exfoliation. Fair Butera's body scrub and also the body serum. I use it all the time and y'all, it's so good. She put so much time and effort into it. I need y'all to go support her. Go to her Instagram. Fair Butera, y'all, it's so good. I run out of it so quickly. It's the body scrub in the shower. It makes you feel so moisturized. When you're scrubbing your body and you rinse it off, your skin feels like so soft and subtle and it feels like you just locked in some moisture. That's what I really like about it. That's why I run through it so much. And also the serum, it just sits so beautifully on my skin. It hydrates and it just gives me a nice glow. I like this first spray serum. It's hydrating, it's radiant serum. I got this from Amazon. Y'all can find my skincare favorites on Amazon. And also I just ordered the Korean face mask that you leave on for like eight hours or overnight, whatever, and you wake up and your skin looks so good. So I still have to try that out. So the Amicole lip liners and lip glosses, y'all, is so good. And obviously they are sponsoring this video, but it's so good. I wore this on live the other day and y'all was like, what is that? What is that lip gloss? I see good all under eye patches. So good. All this stuff is linked in my Amazon store for it. So y'all gotta tune in. I have so many favorites. So if y'all want me to make a whole separate video, cause I can talk about this all on site and we not gonna do it right now. If you want me to make a whole separate video, I can. So let me know. I wanna add my LED light therapy. Yes, it does work and I do enjoy it. At least I like to do it twice a week, minimum 10 minutes. Like I said, all this stuff is linked in my Amazon storefront. So somebody asked, do I see myself in Atlanta long term or if not, where do I see myself? I like Atlanta, but honestly, I'm always striving for something else. I just, I don't know. I, I think I get bored easily. I think that's what it is. I think I just get bored too fast, too quickly. And I want something new. So I don't know, we'll see. I wouldn't mind moving somewhere and just seeing how it works for me. And I'm still young. 30 is not old, okay? I could definitely see myself out the country somewhere, maybe New York. I don't know where I'm gonna end up. All I know is that I just want God to lead me where I'm supposed to be. I just know I feel good about where the future is gonna be. So it's kind of like a genesis qua. My lashes look so good, y'all. My natural lashes, E. Oh, also, a beauty hack, castor oil, baby. On the face at night, stomach, anywhere you experience inflammation, 
Castor oil. Wrap it up, girl. Castor oil is probably the un a beauty secret everybody needs to know. It's just crazy how many benefits you can get from castor oil. Just rubbing it on your skin. That's just crazy. So somebody asked, what is my greatest achievement? My achievement isn't something somebody can give me or I can receive. It just happened to end up being within myself and personal development. I had to develop personality traits. I had to develop my mindset and have a mindset shift when it came to growing up and also being in a creative space and doing this career. Your mindset shifts everything is gonna start to align. I feel like that is my biggest achievement because it was hard for me to you know let go of old ways in the past and you know you just have to grow up if somebody was giving me a hard time just in general like i came across somebody and somebody was just giving me an attitude i have to give them grace because i don't know what they're going through just little things like that and also having patience especially when it comes to my brand and where i wanted to go and that goes back to the question where where do i see myself in five years i have to know that patience is the key to all of this it's not the matter of if it's when that will be my biggest achievement is personal development and with god's unwavering will everything is going to be in alignment of where my life is supposed to go so lashes are on and i just did i set my face a little bit with the laura mercier um translucent powder um, loose setting powder was talk free but I did use the translucent honey as well under my eyes. And I also used a new bronzer as well. Where it's at, where you go, girl. It's just a mess down here. Pat McGrath Labs, this new bronzer. I just did a little contour after I set my face. And the face is looking real pretty, okay? She's cute, she's cute, she's cute. Lessons that life has taught me that I would teach my future children you have to have patience. Rome was not built in a day. Because my kids are gonna go off, they're gonna wanna do their own things in life, maybe start a business, be an entrepreneur. But with everything that you do in life, it's gonna take time and patience. It's not if it's gonna happen, it's just the time. So they're gonna have to know, like babes, it's gonna take time for it to come. It's not gonna happen overnight. And my mom always told me that I'm a person that always wanted instant gratification. She like Kyra. Like, it's not gonna happen overnight. She always told me this. I was just never listening to her. But now that I'm older, I definitely understand. Developing non-negotiables. So, for instance, if you were like me, I want to lose weight. My non-negotiable would be no sugar. I can't have sugar. I got to look at all the labels to make sure it's no added sugars, total sugars, none of that. Because in the past, I would be like, oh, it's just one day. I can have a little cheat day. And that one cheat day is going to turn into three cheat days. And then a week is going to pass by. And then I've done gaining all this weight throughout the week. And then a whole month, a year has done passed me by. And it's just, I have to create these non-negotiables that in order for me to meet my goal, these non-negotiables are going to be met. Some Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Laura Mercier actually has really good blush colors and this is in the color Fresco. I like that this has a little shimmer to it and I like that it has, that it's like, I don't know, like a subtle brown color. to give me a little highlight because we don't want to do too much. It's like a natural glow. To go in with the Givenchy Prism Libre, I cannot not set my face with that. It's like the cherry on top for my face. So a lot of people have been asking me about my mental health and I'm so happy that y'all are asking and care about me. That is so sweet. But of course I have my days where I'm feeling down. Whenever I'm feeling melancholy or just out the loop, I just put my phone down, have clock out time and just tend to my needs. I love to do self care. I love to shop, I love to eat. I just love, when I'm feeling down, I just do things that make me feel good and just of what I love. You're never really sad for real. Your hair might not be done. You might wanna go on a trip. You're you're never really sad. You just need like a little oomph in your life, you know? Whenever I'm feeling that way, I just go ahead and tend to my feelings. But most of the time, it's around my menstrual cycle because I have very bad PMS. It's all bad, especially the week before. Baby, don't talk to me. But after that, I'm cool. Like, I'm cool, I'm chilling, I'm working. What are we doing? What am I looking for? Oh, my nose, my nose. Where the is it? Where is it? I'm spending night on the 
fucking mighty? Who the fucking mighty? Where's that? Like, for real. Like, no bullshit. We're just gonna use the chalet silberry on the tip of my nose. It really just snatches my nose. I don't know what it is. And then also, if you're in a rush, just put some blush on your nose, like quick one, two, and you have a quick contour. What inspires me, and I really feel like I get inspired by life itself. When I'm creating my content, I just look at things that are just in front of me. Life in itself is just an inspiration. I'm just looking at like a video picture. I'm just like, wow, people are art in itself, and it's just crazy to me. Like, people are just so creative and it's just so inspiring for me to see and that's how i wanted to go about creating my content because i don't know i just get inspired by life if i'm looking at something i take a little piece of what i'm looking at and i lock it in my brain and then that's when i will create something out of what i just seen so that's how i get inspired and i like to just go to different places get inspired by the culture and just different things and like i said just life in itself is just an inspiration sometimes you just gotta look out the window the faces can you faces is looking good she's beat she's mad because i do have to go outside today run a couple errands <laughs> and then i'm gonna answer a few couple questions to wrap up this video so let me just go ahead and go to my hair real 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 quick Who knows how many nights I cried. It's recording. Ah, ah, ah. Drop and roll up with partition. Her face is so big, y'all. I was like looking in the mirror when I was curling my hair. I'm like, damn. I'm going to answer one more question before I get into the lip. The question was, what tips would I give to people who are new to vlogging and also content creation? Y'all, with this content creating, you really have to approach it with a lot of tenacity a lot of hard work a lot of hunger because there are going to be nights and days where you're like you don't you may not have a lot of motivation but you have to believe in yourself there's this speech that niecy dash made when she was at the emmys she had she won her award and she was like yeah i, I want to thank me and then after that she had another interview on stage somebody asked her love that you won your award and the speech that you gave so beautiful why was it so important to you to acknowledge yourself and she was like because i know what it cost me for me to get in this position we go through so many things behind closed doors that a lot of people just don't see so if you start to doubt yourself you really just have to believe in yourself that's why it's not called mama esteem them esteem it's called self esteem period there were, were so many days where i was like oh my god is this gonna work for me i had my doubts in my mind and also being a black woman in this space you tend to get overlooked by brands it's gotta go so hard you gotta go above and beyond that's just what it is i hopefully one day you know we'll have a change as a black woman in this space you have to believe in yourself you have to go hard you just have to trust that it's gonna all work out. Like look at Taylor Swift and Beyonce, for example. I love my girl Beyonce. And the other day I was looking up who's the most streamed on Spotify. Why is Beyonce the 21st person? I just don't understand. But guess who's number one? Taylor Swift, <laughs> which is crazy. And y'all, ain't nothing wrong with Taylor Swift. She that girl too. But my girl Beyonce does work. Not only does she make music, she does it for the culture. You know Beyonce is black. She's always rooting for us, especially with the Cowboy Carter album. Obviously, they counted her out with the country album. And fast forward, she made this album to make sure y'all knew don't ever count her out in any genre. I just feel like... You just have to approach content creation with a lot of tenacity, hard work, and self-belief and unwavering will that you will get to where you're supposed to be in this space, period. So it's going to all work out for you. All you have to do is just believe in yourself, girl, and you got this. Put the work in and it's all going to work out. You can't expect to grow when you're not putting the work in because how is it going to grow when you're not watering the plant, you know? So you just have to keep on working until you make that tree grow, period. For lip, I'm gonna go in with the Amicole Lip Treatment Oil. And also, they, like I said in the beginning of this video, they just came out with lip liners. These do come as a lip kit, but I mix and match them. So first, I'm gonna go in with Cafe Tubia. In my lips, and I've been loving this. It's super creamy. 
it's easy to glide on. And I love that Amicole has clean ingredients in their makeup products. Mm, so pretty. When I tell y'all I've been using this down. The lips. This is the perfect brown color for the lip. And I like to make a contour shape when it comes to my lip liner. Lip treatment oil bliss on top of the liner. And this is just such a pretty nude. So cute. So pretty and then if I'm really feeling the vibes I like to go in with the color excellent and just top it off because it is a brown shade just to blend it all together because you still gotta blend in your lip colors too mm. now this is a lip the very last question everybody's been asking me who am I dating? Am I single? Who's my man? Blah, blah, blah. Y'all are just so nosy. <laughs> and I need to get this out the bag and just let y'all know straight up because I feel like I always were, I, I feel like I'm always transparent when it comes to my relationships. And, you know, I'm being very vulnerable right now and I want to open up to y'all. So, yes, it's true. Your girl's taken. She's off the market and I'm so happy because he always comes through for your girl. Okay. And y'all, y'all have to know that this man is going to always keep me happy and have my best interests at heart. And I'm taken by my father God. I love that man. I love him, y'all. I'm in love. I could cry right now. I love him. Like, I just love him. I just love my man. I am in love right now. I just couldn't be happier. So, yeah, I hope that answers y'all's questions and allegations. Because I know y'all been thinking what. Because I know y'all been thinking crazy. So, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to shop Amicole's lip kits that we linked down below. But yeah, this was fun. It was so good talking to y'all. And I cannot wait to do it again. Um, so like I said, just make sure you're following me on Instagram so you'll be able to participate in the next one. And that wraps up this video. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.